Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very exciting video. I think I do this video twice a year where they do the 20% off with the VIP and the VIP Rouge. Ah! You go in Sephora and you spend your life savings. Just a good old time. So I am very excited. I got a lot of awesome products that I am super excited to share with you guys. A couple of things I did get online and I just threw them in the bag that way we can just do one big old fat haul. I just want to announce that my shirt does say pizza is bae. It's true. I have no announcements. We're gonna jump right in and get started. I hope you enjoy this haul video. If you're wondering like what should I get from Sephora, I hope this answers some of your questions. So let's jump in and get started. Did finally get the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have heard that this stuff is the game changer. And it better be because it was $65 with 20% off, but it was still $65. <laughs> that is not an affordable foundation. Like not even trying to be an affordable foundation. So this better change my life. Now I did pick my shade online and how I recommend doing that is by Googling the foundation and a human will actually put swatches on their hands to the pictures online which can make it a really difficult to compare on your face. I kind of feel like this one might be a little bit too pink for me but luckily Sephora is so generous with their returns and they will let you exchange it in store which I might have to do but I don't know. I got 5.5. Do you guys think I was crazy for getting that shade? Oh no, that looks like it might fit perfect. Fit. It might look perfect. It might match perfect. I think I nailed it. Oh guys, I think I got the exact shade. I don't know. I won't know until I put it on my face, but girl. If you see me use this in some tutorials, forgive me if I do love it because I don't like to use like high, high end makeup. I think high end makeup is like Too Faced Urban Decay. High, high end makeup is what I call like YSL, Dior, Givenchy, Giorgio Armani. Oh, I hope it works out for me. The next product I got is a backup Better Than Sex Mascara. I keep buying this stuff. I just love it. I've always loved it. it loved, I love how it viva booms them lashes, makes them foof. I just, Better Than Sex is where it's at. Then I got a self-made palette. Now you're like, Laura, we know you already have this palette, girlfriend. You getting crazy? I bought it for maybe something on my channel. Starts with a G and ends with a away. I don't know. Next item that I got is my second Audacious Lipstick from NARS. These are $35 a piece, so again, they're a little bit pricey. Who is outside making all that racket? It sounds like someone's on my roof. Is it a squirrel? Are there squirrels in California? Burquell is the name of this one, and I just love these. I already have Anna, which I, hasn't, I have not been disappointed by whatsoever. So Burquell is a really pretty nude color. Now, it does look pinky nude. Ooh, I didn't think it was going to be that pinky nude, but it is really pretty. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to wear it all day long. I don't know why I sniff things like this, because they don't smell like anything. I don't know why I do that. It's so weird. Like, I want to sniff everything. I don't do that to people, though. They're one of my favorite, favorite lipsticks. They're super pricey, but I think the quality of the lipstick is worth the price, because they are awesome. Next thing I picked up, this was an online one. Oh my lord, these may be really too big for me. These are Huda Beauty Lashes, and this is Lana, number 10. Whoa Nelly. Like, I'm gonna try these, but they look viva boom dramatic, like even for me, and I'm like a super dramatic lash person, but these look extreme, extreme, so I hope they're not too crazy. If they're not, you'll see them in a tutorial because that's what I bought them for. I wanted to do, like I saw them and I was like, ooh, this would be pretty with like this. I always have things in my head. It's all up here. Everything's up here. They look really big. Like they would shoot off and like slap people in the face as I blink. We'll see what happens with those. Next, I did pick this up in store. This is the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow Highlighter. <sighs> It is so pretty. The box that it came in was like all silver and pretty. I believe I threw it away. But it's just like a golden highlighter. It looks super golden, but actually whenever you put it on your cheekbone, it is super bronzy. So it's not necessarily a just golden highlight. I think that this will be a pretty highlight to kind of dust on the forehead, just a little bit everywhere to glowify your skin, to, to fleekify your skin, to glowify, to luminize. I don't know. It, like I said, in the packaging, I think it's because it's so compressed. It looks super like a golden, goldy, goldy highlight, but it's really not. It's called Bronze Glow, and at first I was like, well, why did they call it a bronze? It's super bronzy whenever you get it a little bit on your brush and dust some on the cheek. You're like, this is not golden. No, 
it's bronze. The next item I got is from Urban Decay Cosmetics. This is the eyeshadow primer potion. I believe this is their new one. Now I remember using this stuff like many, many, many moons ago, like when it first came out and like we just discovered eye primer. Now, the new packaging is what sold me on it. This little crystal lid just made my heart flutter because I thought it was so freaking chic and pretty and you could also stab someone with it. They attacked you. Ah! Am I the only one that turns everything into a weapon? This is just the original color in it, so it's just a neutrally beige color. But I love that it comes on a doe foot applicator, so it makes it super easy for application rather than like a squeegee tube. I don't know, squeegee tubes, I feel like I get too much out and a lot of the product goes to waste. Now I do typically wear my MAC Pro Longwear or my MAC Pink Pot in Soft Ochre as my um, eyeshadow primer, but I wanna go back to trying this because I know it's really good, so I'm gonna try to start using this again just to see my thoughts upon it. Then I did pick up like my fifth uh, Naked Skin Urban Decay concealer because this concealer is everything. It is so awesome. I just had a lot of trouble actually finding my right shade in it. I either go too light or too dark. I think neutral medium is my shade. However, whenever I go look at my drawer, it's probably not. I'm probably going to have like three neutral mediums in there and be like, dang it, that's the one that was too dark. Ah! It always happens to me, but I'm hoping, you know what, this looks like it's the right shade. I think I got the right shade. <gasps> this concealer is awesome. It is major coverage. It reminds me so, 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 so much. It even smells. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, it smells just like the Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC. It reminds me so much of the formula. I know that the ingredients inside this have to pretty much be the exact same. Seriously, oh my goodness. I love this concealer and a little bit goes a super long way. So you will have a tube of this for a long, long time. This is $28, but I definitely think it's worth $28. It costs just as much as the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, but it is a completely different texture. Love it. It's, it's pretty much creaseless if you set it correctly, and it lasts for a really long time, and the coverage is phenomenal. Next item I picked up is the Murad Essential C Moisturize on Broad Spectrum 30. Now, it takes such a little amount of this to use on your face that the tube, act, my last tube of this actually went bad because I could use it all. Because whenever things have sunscreen in them they can expire quickly so be sure to check on that and your foundations and your moisturizer sunscreen doesn't last for that long so anyways i just picked up another one i love this moisturizer a because of the amount of sunscreen in it. murad is so good about putting sunscreen in their formula to protect your skin that is what murad is all about and it's also an extremely lightweight moisturizer to have as much sunscreen in it as it does and normally i find that whenever moisturizers have a lot of sunscreen in them they get super heavy and oily and greaser. <gasps> this one actually, my skin absorbs it so well and it doesn't have like that greasy sheen left on my face. That's why I keep going back to this one and now I don't use this as my nighttime moisturizer. I only use this as my daytime moisturizer after I wash my face in the morning. The last product I picked up, I did get a sample of this and I used, no I actually didn't. Yes I did. I got a sample of this like in the little uh, points perk bonus, whatever it's called, the insider. I don't know. There's like so many of those now. Anyways, this is the Living Proof Style Lab Prime Style Extender Spray. So, but, okay. So I get a super weird lid. Like, I don't know what this little hunk on the lid is, but it's very disturbing to me. Anyways, this spray is like a texturizing spray, but it doesn't leave your hair feeling, it does not leave your hair feeling super crunchy or hard. I hate that whenever sprays do that because it like takes the soft flowiness out of your hair. I like this one a lot because it did add some texture to my hair but still left it feeling soft. So I decided to get the big boy here and it's for fine hair and I have a, my hair is weird. Like I have thick hair but it's very fine hair so it tangles easy and it gets poofy and it gets weird and it does crazy stuff and it takes over my life. This stuff is awesome for fine hair. That is it. That is all that I got from Sephora all that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. So please just, you know, pinch your little cheeks. Subscribe before you leave and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> Thought that I'd be better.